Is lighting ass? It is ass. It's really bad on that. Yeah, it looks so much better like that, but it just, it's so conflicting. Hold on. I don't think y'all that can, can actually hear me. Oh my gosh, it is not great. Hold on. I don't like the white balance at the moment. Is it better if I go this way? I talk this way? Like, nah, but I'm talking to my people, you know what I mean? I, I should be facing y'all. Okay. There's a lot we have to talk about, motherfuckers. That's all I have to say. There's a lot of shit going on in my life, people. And... First of all, some of y'all might have been asking me, Hey, Leo, where, you, where have you been? Hey, Otiko, where's the vlog that? And shit, me. Motherfuckers, I ain't gonna keep it 500 with you. I've been gone for many reasons. Many reasons. Is my nipple hard? Sh God damn it. Ugh, now I have to cover my nipple and shit. Hello. Welcome. I haven't talked to y'all in a... Can you see my face? My face ain't look that pretty in this one. Damn. Damn. All right, there we go. Yeah, the lighting hitting me right. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, <laughs> some of y'all might be like wondering where I've been. I haven't made a video in maybe the last six months. I think I last uploaded five, six months ago. Frick, I, I, I miss the vlogs, I'm going to be honest. But some of y'all might be actually thinking this. Hey, Leo, where, you, where have you been? Hey, Otiko, where's the vlogs at? Well, ah, fuck it. Fuck it. Let, let, let's get into the video. Let's get into why and where I have been. Yeah, I, I I think I might do this whole entire bit again. <coughs> Holy shit, is that Otiko? I haven't seen that motherfucker in a minute. Well, first of all, you're correct. That is my name, Leonardo and Otiko. Uh, please call me Leo. Don't call me Leonardo. That's a bit weird. My mother calls me Leonardo. And normally she's pissed off at me. But anyways, <laughs> yes. Some of you might be wondering, is this a vlog? It's, it's more of an update. Um, some of you might be like, hey, Leo, where, you, where have you been? Hey, Otiko, where's the vlogs at? And some of you actually have been messaging me about that. Where's the vlogs? Like, where's the content at? And the truth, truth be told. Well, fuck it. Let's, let's get into the video because some of you read the title. And if you haven't read the title, that really explained everything. That was one of the, the biggest issues that I had during this whole entire motherfucking hiatus of a break. My nudes got leaked. And I became an OnlyFans star and a nude model by accident. I had to go MIA. My dick is out there on the internet. That wasn't okay with me at the time. Public service announcement, PSA to all my friends and family, <clears throat> and hopefully not my family, please. But sorry about y'all having to see my penis in your DMs. It's not my fault. Well, it is my fault. It is. Yes, it is my fault. I got random promoters, apparently. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Shout out to Ankit. For being actually cool about seeing my dick. My dick first. He, he didn't really care. He was just like, hey, yo, is this you? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, man. You know. <laughs> shout out to him for being a real one and being cool about it. You are the actual real shout out of the video right now. So let, 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 let's really talk about this. I'm, I'm going off a of bias script, by the way. I, I've written down most of the key points that I want to talk about. So let's really talk about this for a bit. Like, one day. One very... Very, very unfortunate day. I was so horny. To the point of desperality. Yes, desperality is not a word. But it is a word some of you, <coughs> men, <coughs> uh, would understand because I was desperate, horny. I was very desperate that day. Um, so I was conversing with this girl, a female, and over DMs and you know we're conversing and we were talking talking and I you know of course this pretty lady was gonna holler back at me and she got a bit freaky so I got freaky myself and she sends me something and I send one back out you know what I mean I was like oh shit this is crazy like at first actually she sends me something and I was like I was very persistent on not doing anything because that's not my thing. I'm not that type of person to just be like, yo, here's my song, yeah. No, that's not me. That's not me. I'm a very private person about my sexuality, etc. Um, so, and after I said something, and out of nowhere, I'm feeling freaky, freaky, and I get a voice message, and I'm looking at this voice message, and I'm like, oh, is she going to say something crazy? Like, daddy? And it's, give me your money. I got your nudes, and I'm going to leak them to everyone. I honestly didn't know what to do. There was a bit of an anxiety attack, panic attack going around. But I was just chilling. It was just like, 
I'm like, shit, bro, what do I do? And I think it got to the two hour mark when they were negotiating because it was, it was pretty funny. This guy, this guy was like, give me PayPal. And I'm like, okay, let's look at PayPal. And it was funny as shit because I was like, I can report this guy afterwards. And he's giving me PayPal after PayPal and is refusing after refusing. And he ends up giving me his number. He ends up giving me every, like, most of his details, which is crazy because, like, Oh, by the way, report people that do this because you cannot extort people and blackmail them. Like, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And that's the honest truth. By the two hour mark, I got to the two hour mark. And I was like, my whole life is going to shambles. I'm done. My career is gone. I don't know what to do. And I look in the video, you know, because like... I, I got scared it might be small. That's the honest truth. I got scared it might be small in the video. And I was really scared about that because if it was small, then everybody I know is going to be like, damn, this guy is small. This guy has got a small penis and shit. And I was like, fuck, man. I don't want that. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably one thing for a man. Personally, myself, this is going off of me. This is one thing for a person. Like, you would not want to be known for that, if that makes sense, because it really sucks. And... You know, I have this thing for saving photos and videos onto my phone to capture moments. And in this instance, you know, um, this was my very first nude I was sending out. So I, of course, um, saved my own video before I sent it out. And, of course, this pretty, <laughs> you know, this pretty lady ended up turning into a man. I, I don't know how that happened. And... <clears throat> um, you know, I, I look at this video and... They send a message to my friend Anchored over here, and it's it's very funny because I look at this and it is fucking amazing the angle they got me on. They genuinely did me right, and that's the honest truth right there. That's the honest truth right there. They did me right. They did me right. I've never seen a better angle of my you know schlong <laughs> like in that lighting. And by the way, I was, I look great. I look fucking. <laughs> I did it. I don't know. And and they're like, we'll explain to you. And it, it got to to our mark, and I realized like, I'm alright. I'm cool with it. You ain't you ain't gonna extort me, etc. Some of you may have noticed I went in my own YouTube. Oh, uh -oh, lol. Oh, uh -oh. I think that's why I renamed myself because of this this whole entire action. I deleted all my videos. I didn't delete them. I privated all of them. They're all available. I'll put them up when this video comes up because like at this point I don't really give a fuck like about uh you know. By saying, it's it's very funny because um for, for let me get this up for you, for for like when I was gone for a long time, I I had this whiteboard here, and I don't know if you can see the whiteboard great. So on this whiteboard, there's a bit right here, and it says, um, because it, it's it's called a goals and priority board. And on my goals and priority board, there's a part on here that says, "Be proud of your body." Not what I actually meant, but, you know, I'm actually really proud of my body at the moment because I've been, I've been trying to get fit, I've been trying to, I have my goals in mind, etc. But yeah, my, my nudes got leaked, and that's one of the major reasons that I, I went MIA, like, I went missing in action, I just, I stopped, and it was a big thing that struck my confidence for a minute because I was scared that I wouldn't be able to get into where I have to be. So I took a major break because of that. But another reason was, actually, um, I wasn't making any revenue. I wasn't making any money from YouTube. And that was a big thing for me because at my age, I have to be able to live off of, like, a bit of money, you know. I go out with friends. I have a social life, you know. I have to pay bills. And I ended up deciding what I did as a hobby just for fun and just to help my friends, etc. look great is, you know, make a bit of money on the side. And I started working as a barber. I... I cut people's hair and it's just, you know, I I cut people's hair to make ends meet, but it was really enjoyable because, like, not in a great way. Like, I missed the vlogs, but it was enjoyable to have a break from the vlogs for a minute and just, I got to enjoy my friends and family, like, the time around me to do just to, I just enjoyed them and like for me to be able to dedicate my craft and skills and hone them onto them and just be able to make them look clean, sexy, nice, bougie and like complete hot shit, you know what I mean? Like that's why you should get a haircut by the way. 
<clears throat> Makeup for men. That's what we always say. And hey, if you don't have a therapist, come to the barber shop. That's that's another thing I'm promoting. I'm I'm just I'm chugging up. This is an endorsement by T Trims. <laughs> come through, come through, come through. But while cutting it, I was also working night shift, and that's the honest truth. I was working night shift at this warehouse, and I ended up making it a bit of money to thrive and survive and help my family, etc. And I'm, I, I felt like I put myself and my family in a good position, which is one thing that, of course, is really great to me. And as you're listening to this, some of you may be thinking, shit, is Leo slash Otiko quitting YouTube? And the truth is, I quit that night shift job because every day, Every night, sorry. Every night I was there, I would always come back to the thought and fact that I want to do YouTube and there's no doubt in my mind I that I won't be doing that, you know. For me, it's something that I've always wanted to pursue, something I've always wanted to strive for, you know. And, you know, but instead now, I'm going to be pursuing it even more. Welcome back, Otigo. <laughs> Practically all I have to say. I think I'm going to do another cut just to get all the way down because I feel like I'm not.